Okay. Uh, let's talk about Rodriguez formula. Only for the Legendre equations. So, uh, P L of X, 1 over 2 to the L, L factorial, differentiate L times X squared minus 1 to the L power. Where D here means D D X. Differentiate. And D, D to the L power means you differentiate L times. Okay. Um, so, one thing I want to first say is that uh, we, we have to show two things. One is that uh, this is a solution to the Legendre equation. 2x prime plus L, L plus 1. So I, I have to show that this is a solution to this. But if this is a solution, even without this one, only this part will still be a solution because this is a linear homogeneous equation. If you have a linear homogeneous equation and you have a solution, any constant multiple of that will be a solution, right? Uh, so we, we have to explain what this does. Well, what this does is this allows one to have a, a fixed, fixed value for PL at 1. This is the normalization that people choose for, I guess, for historical reasons. Uh, so that they all say the same thing when they say Legendre polynomial. Okay. So you can say the following definition of what a Legendre polynomial is. Legendre polynomial is a polynomial solution of this equation with the property that PL of 1 is 1. Now, I'm going to do two things. One is, uh, I want to show this first, okay? And then, I'm going to get rid of this, uh, also, also do something funny here, and, and so that you get still some constant multiple of what I wrote here, and then show that that satisfies this equation, because even without the constant, if it solves, then with the constant, it should still solve it, right? So that, those are the two things I want to do. Okay, so. Uh, so set u, well, first of all, x squared minus 1 is x minus 1 times x plus 1. Okay? Then if you set u as x minus 1, that means x plus 1 will be, if you add 2 both sides, you get u plus 2. So now, what is this? x squared minus 1 to the lth power would be u times u plus 2 to the lth power. Do you agree? Okay. Which is u to the lth power times u plus 2 to the lth power. But then this, you can use the... Oh, oh I, I know what. Uh, what I need is, from here, I need the u to the lth power's coefficient. Because, here's what I'm trying to say. If you view this one as a function of u, so as a function of u, then PL1 is same as f evaluated for what values of u? u of? Zero. zero because when u is zero, x, x minus 1 is 0, then x would be 1. Do you agree? Okay. So f of 0. Which means, what I need to do is, uh, by the way, differentiation by x is the same thing as differentiation by u because uh, du is same as dx, right? So if I have to differentiate x squared minus 1 to the lth power l times, and I need to plug in, actually, Let's write it like this. u to the l, u plus 2 to the lth power. If I have to differentiate this l times, and then plugging in u equal to 0, 
I'm really asking what becomes the constant term here? What becomes the constant term? The one that has u to the lth power, if you differentiate l times u, give you the constant term, right? But then, because you already have u to the lth power, you're looking, really looking at the constant term of this one. What's the constant term of this? Well, how do you get a constant term for a polynomial? You plug in 0 and you get the constant term, don't you? Right? So if you plug in 0, you get 2 to the L. So which means that this mysterious thing, I don't care. It's like u to the 2L, then something u to the 2L minus 1. You have a bunch of other stuff, but I do know that 2 to the L u to the two L, u to the L is what the, the, the lowest order polynomial. The lowest order term this can produce is 2 to the L u to the L. Do you agree? Right. Okay. Now you differentiate that L times. What what do you get if you if you take u to the L and differentiate L times? Every time you differentiate, L comes down and L minus 1 comes down. If you differentiate twice, you get that. Differentiate tw three times, you get this. So all the way to this. So that's L factorial, right? So if you, plug, if you differentiate this L times and you plug in 0, you're going to get 2 to the nth times, 2 to the lth power times L factorial. And because there's this coefficient, the value of F0 will be exactly 1. So that part is proved. Is that OK? All right. Now, let's move on to show the other part. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is I want to show that uh, y equals to d l of 1 minus x squared l is a solution or solves 1 minus x squared y double prime minus 2xy prime plus ll plus 1y. So I can show show that one. Now how do I show, but why, why do I say that? Well, see, this is the same thing as this when l is even. And this is negative of this one when l is odd, right? But negative 1 is still a, a constant multiple, right? So these two are constant multiples of each other. So if I can show that this is a solution to this, then this will automatically be a solution. Do you all agree with that? Okay, so I'm going to show you that. And this is nothing more than a really complicated calculation, so watch closely. So here's a proof. I had to work this out several times to convince myself. So you first set v as 1 minus x squared to the elf power. This thing inside, let's call that v. Okay. Then, if I differentiate v, we can differentiate by using the chain rule, right? L comes down, you have 1 minus x squared, L minus 1, but then the chain rule says you differentiate the inside function whose derivative is negative 2x, right? Okay. Now, see what we get if I multiply 1 minus x squared to v prime then that gives you another 1 minus x squared. So this minus 1 will get canceled by multiplying this, right? So you get L times 1 minus x squared to the lth power times negative 2x. But this is V itself, right? So I get the following identity that 1 minus x squared V prime equals to negative 2LX V. Move this to the other side, and you get this identity, which says 1 minus x squared v prime plus 2lx v equals to 0. OK. Uh, now, what I want to do is I want to calculate these things, and then Actually, I want to differentiate that several times so that 
I'll show that this eventually gives you this equation. So now let's think about this. I need to differentiate VL times to get Y, right? Uh, but, but in order to get Y double prime, I would need to differentiate L plus 2 times, right? So, so uh, Y double prime would be differentiating this yet two more times. So it would be DL plus 2 of 1 minus X squared L. Do you agree? But I already have one derivative, so what I need to do is, if I need y double prime to appear, I better differentiate this l plus 1 times. Okay? That's what I need to do. I have to differentiate this one l plus 1 times, this one l plus 1 times, and add them together, and this will magically appear. Okay? All right. Uh, why is uh, L plus 1? Because it's already differentiated once. Oh, okay. When this is differentiated L plus 1 times, then you end up differentiating L plus 2 times, which gives you Y double prime. So that's what I'm going to do. But then these are multiplied to something else. So let me talk about the, uh, the uh, higher, higher derivative version of the product rule. So, if you have uv prime, this is u prime v plus uv prime, right? What is uv double prime? Well, that means you have to apply product rule to here. But then this also has product rule. And you see that these double up, right? So it's u double prime v plus 2u prime v prime plus u v double prime. Now what would you get if you differentiate this three times? Then it will be this one with the guys in the front being differentiated plus uh, this one again but now the second guy that's differentiated. And you see that again, these are like terms, so we get uh, u triple prime v plus 3u double prime v plus 3u prime v double prime plus u v double prime. Hey, this looks like something. 1, 3, 3, 1, 1, 2, 1, what's that? X plus 1, huh? Just like uh, power, power. Yeah, yeah, binomial theorem or yeah. Pascal's triangle, right? Yeah. So here's here's what I'm claiming. In general, if you have u v differentiated n times, that's going to be sum of k equals to zero through n of n choose k u k v n minus k. Okay? Is that okay? Now, we are going to use this formula, but instead of n, we want to differentiate l plus 1 times, right? And we also, we're just going to pretend that this is u. Okay? So let's see what that means. Um, you have u times v prime, and we're trying to differentiate l plus 1 times. So, Instead of n, I have l plus 1. And this is uh, l plus 1, choose k, u to the k, and v to the l plus 1. But see, there's v prime. So for v, it's v prime of l plus 1 minus k, but you can delete this prime and increase this to 2. So that's what I get. And another thing is, oh, this is not kth power. This is, sorry, these are derivatives, not powers. Okay. So it's just like the binomial theorem, but except for except that instead of powers, you have derivatives. That's the multi uh, uh, higher derivative version of the product rule. Okay. So uh, if you take u and differentiate three times, what would you get for u equals to one minus x squared? What do you get? 
I have a question. Yeah. Uh, why the power of the V is L plus 2? It should be L plus 1. No, there's a prime here. V prime to the L plus 1 minus K is like you're differentiating this one more time. This oh. is differentiating the one L plus 1 minus K time and you're differentiating okay. it one more time. So that's L plus 2. All right. Uh, so what is U differentiated three times? It's a very simple question. I think you guys are kind of giving up at this point. Mm. If you do it, it's zero. Zero. Why? <laughs> U is one minus x squared. It's a second order polynomial. If you differentiate three times, it's zero. So what that means is you just have to write this explicitly for k equals to zero, one, two. Starting from 3, it's gone. So if I differentiate 0 time, anything true of 0 is 1. And anything differentiated 0, well, it's differentiated 0 times. It's 1 minus x squared, uh, v to the L plus 2. And as I said, this if you differentiate v L plus 2 times, this is the same as y double prime, right? OK, and then plus, when k is 1, what is L plus 1 choose 1? That's L plus 1 factorial divided by plus 1 factorial. L plus 1. L plus 1 minus 1 factorial. This is L plus 1, right? Mm -hmm. Then L plus 1 times you're differentiating this 1, so it's negative 2x. And this is a V of L plus 2 minus 1, so V of L plus 1. And this is going to equal to y prime. Okay, so everything is going according to our plan. That's nice. Uh, the, the next one would be L plus 1 choose 2. What's that? That's uh, L plus 1 factorial divided by 2 factorial L plus 1 minus 2 factorial. So there's some cancellation here, and then you end up with L times L plus 1 over 2. Okay. If you look at it, okay? So that's what you get, L times L plus 1 over 2 times negative 2. If you differentiate this yet again, so then you can, the second derivative, that's what you get. And you get V differentiate L times, and V differentiate L times is Y. OK, good. So we, we did half the work now. We just have to do this other one. But you know what? That's easier because you can apply the same principle, but this time, your u, what we call as u, is 2lx. It's a first degree. So how many times do you have to differentiate to get, get rid of it? Two. Twice and it's gone. So you only have two terms. k equals to 0 and k equals to 1. So if I do 2lx, well, right here, 2lx v, uh, and V, okay, and then you differentiate L times, then there's a case when this is not differentiated at all and you differentiate V, sorry, L plus 1 times, uh, V L plus 1 times, so it's 2LX uh, V L plus 1 times. And then uh, the other case is when this is differentiated once and this is differentiated all times, one less than this one. But then there's a L plus 1 choose 1 factor in front. So this will be 2L times L plus 1 times x. No, there's no x because we differentiated it. And then VL. OK. And now we write down what's this plus this equals to 0. Let's see what that is. Let's write down this again. Let's 1 minus x squared y double prime plus l plus 1 times negative 2x. Actually, I'll just put negative 2l minus 2 x uh, y prime. Then 2 and 2 cancel, so it's minus l l plus 1 y. So that's what we got if, from here, plus 2L XY prime plus 
L, L plus 1, Y, and that has to equal to 0, because I have this plus this equal to 0. That's what we know, right? Okay, so what do we get? We get 1 minus X squared, Y double prime. Negative 2L and positive 2L cancels, right? So you get minus 2X, Y prime. And then minus 1 plus 2, everything else is the same, so what's negative 1 plus 2? It's positive 1. So that's not. Okay. So we've proved the Rodriguez formula by these two things.